Hello guys and welcome to this new quick blender grease pencil tutorial today we will see how to replicate the look of texture brushes this is a texture brush I think it's called spray how to replicate this look in a stroke that we already drew with a regular line because if we try to just draw a line with the regular material like for example the pen material I assigned a line material here that I pinned here i added the same radius as the slime so let's draw this line with this material so imagine that you have a character or something that you drew with regular strokes like this and you want to assign a material like this to them let's go to edit mode select the stroke here and go to the materials and we have this material here the spray this is the same material used here it has a line of type dots it has a texture style and a texture image here and now we can assign this material to our stroke here by just selecting one point from it and hitting assign but you see that it doesn't look like this at all first you see that in some places it is spaced it is not as dense as this and and also it's obviously one texture repeating from vertex to vertex here and there is no randomness and to see what's happening why that happened here you need to go to draw mode again and select your brush this one we go to the stroke sitting here and you see that randomize here is enabled we have a randomization of radius and we have also a full randomization of uv and that means the rotation of the texture for each vertice and also there is a little randomization in color this is something we want to be able to replicate here in this tutorial but we will get something close maybe there's something i'm missing maybe there is a way to randomize these values for for existing strokes if you know that please let me know in the comments so let's start fixing the stroke first let's go again to edit mode select the stroke and hit m so we have this layer called converted let's move it to this converted layer if you don't have a converted layer created by clicking here and assigning a name to it and now we should add some modifiers so object mode we will add a noise modifier and what we will need here is to change the uv of course to replicate the effects in this stroke we will turn the uv to the max here and you see that it is also randomizing it for the other stroke so under influence we will just choose our converted layer and you see it doesn't look that good that's because we need also to increase the noise scale if you increase the scale there will be more randomization for smaller areas so we increase the noise scale and you see that we start to get a better look we have a lot of randomization for position and that's why we have this zigzag in here so let's lower it and let's add more to the noise scale and i think it looks good the only issue now is with these places here where the points are not dense enough and for that we can either add a subdivide modifier and increase until we get a dense stroke we also change influence to our converted layer and here to get a better look you better move the subdivide modifier before the noise modifier because the subdivide modifier will add vertices to the stroke in an undestructive manner if you put it before the noise modifier every vertice even the ones added by this one will be randomized by the noise modifier that's why you see that you get a better look when you move it to put it first and then you can instead of the subdivide modifier go to edit mode and use sample on this stroke so go here to stroke simply and then choose sample and here you see that the vertices now or the points are spaced regularly to have denser point you change it here under the last operation menu you get a lower value and you get more dense points let's go back to object mode the only problem is that we can't have that randomization in color here there is a very subtle randomization it's not very visible but it is there that's why it looks a little better than this one and also sometimes you see like a line in the middle if you see that line you need to increase the value here and their position to have more randomness in the middle and you get rid of that line if you know a way to randomize colors let us know in the comments section and the last thing you may want to do is to apply the modifiers and you need to be in object mode to do it so you go to your modifier so hit this arrow here and hit apply 
and voila um support the free contents on this channel by checking my gumroad and getting a free or paid file from there and watching the tutorial attached to the files there thank you for watching and see you in another video peace